All right, so a few years ago, I was in a bit of a, a bit of a dark place, and I felt like I had no control over my life. It didn't matter how hard I worked, it felt like things didn't go my way. And I'd always kind of been brought up to believe that you keep your head down, you work hard, and things will work out for you. And that's not, that's not how things work. Um, but I didn't know this, and I felt like life wasn't for me. And uh, yeah, I felt just like I was a passive participant in my own existence. And I feel like a lot of people feel this same way. You know, they feel like I've had it hard. I've had it tough. I've put in a lot of effort, but things aren't working out for me. And you, you end up with no agency over your own life. Now, there's a thing called neuroplasticity, right? And what happens is when you get into cycles of behavior, cycles of habit, you um, basically reinforce these neural pathways in your mind. So this becomes your kind of default setting. So the more you do something, the more you repeat it, the more it becomes a default setting. And it's the same with our beliefs, our kind of self-narrative, all of this kind of stuff. It becomes a, a kind of repeating um, behavior, if you like, and we we program ourselves and we experience programs us to think that, you know, a certain way. And I was stuck in this negative feedback loop. And a lot of us are stuck in this negative feedback loop. We're kind of asking, when is life going to reward me for all my hard work? And the thing is, it's not going to happen until you do something different. Right, so you need to take ownership of your life. When you feel like you have no control over your life, you need to do something to take ownership of the situation because life is not just going to give you what you want. You have to start taking action to move yourself in that direction. And the way you do that is by doing something different that breaks you out of this, this kind of constant cycle that is reinforcing itself in your brain, in your, um, in your behavior patterns. Uh, in, in this negative self-talk. So I was driving a van for a living. I was deeply depressed. I mean, I, I, to be honest, I love that job and I still have very fond memories of it. And I met some amazing people doing that job. You know, van drivers have basically kept the world going um, since, uh, since the lockdown, for example. But I was in a dark place. I felt very, um, uh, very unhappy with myself. And I couldn't understand why I couldn't get out of it. And you need to do something. For me, that meant letting go of certain things that I kind of believed were true or believed were my calling or believed were my, my function in life and trying something else. And it led me in a different direction. And that's what you've got to do. You've got to do something. Now, often, like, we, we hear these kind of, there are a lot of memes on the internet, a lot of podcasts out there that look at the kind of morning routines of billionaires. And we think, you know, we have to adopt these kind of really vigorous and rigorous lifestyles in order to have success. You know, we, we hear in this podcast, you know, the top 10 secrets of Olympic athletes. And we think we have to be like them in order to be successful. And that in itself is off-putting. So we go back to our routines. We go back to, well, I'll never be like them. I'm never, I'm not good enough. Life isn't for me. You know, things are never going to work out for me. But we don't have to be like them. We don't want to set the, ourselves these massive goals. All we have to do is one small thing. Just change something. You know, change It can be your route to work. It can be the, the time you get up for work in the morning. It can be getting up half an hour earlier. Just one small thing. Drinking one more glass of water a day. Something that you intentionally do that gives you ownership over something. Because otherwise, you're going to have no agency in your own life. So take ownership of something, anything. And then you will start to build your confidence. It'll take a long time. It'll take practice. And you, repeat, you do it repeatedly over and over. But take ownership of something. Change a routine. Do something different and say, hang on a minute. This, I, I always, my days are all the same. I'm always unhappy. So I'm going to change something. I'm going to try something new. And don't worry about the results. Just do something new. Get used to doing new things, different things, difficult things even. But they don't have to be olympic efforts they don't have to be these routines of billionaires which aren't going to make you a billionaire by the way but you know they just need to be something that you have decided to do that is different from the thing the life that is clearly not working out for you so far to give yourself a bit of ownership and a bit of agency over your own existence 
all right, to do something. Think about something that you're not happy with. If you're not happy about your, your weight, maybe, you know, eat one more healthy thing a week. One more healthy thing a day. Drink more water. If you're tired all the time, think about getting uh, an early night. Try it tonight. Is it possible? Can you do it? If it works out tonight, do it tomorrow night. Uh, see what happens after three weeks of getting early nights every night. You know what I mean? Just you, you are malleable. Your life is malleable and you can change it. But you have to believe that you have the power to do it. So start small. Do something small. Take ownership and make it happen. Because you can. You have the power. You have the power to be the best version of you possible. I mean, that's why you were put here, right?